These are, of course, kimono. And one of the most important parts of the kimono is the obi. That is the uh, section here that uh, basically binds the midsection and is tied in an elaborate bow in the back. Most of the women that I know here in Japan are unable to tie these on their own if they're able to uh, wear a kimono on their own at all. They need someone to help them. Um, and that's even with a simple bow. Now, how many types of bows are there in the uh, Japanese obi? Well, there's a lot. And uh, this uh, display here gives us an idea of the number and styles of the traditional obi bow. Let's take a look. Indeed, there are many beautiful and complex styles. Wow, look at that one. Oh, there's a complex one. Can you imagine being able to tie this on yourself? To reach around your back and tie this elaborate, long piece of cloth into a bow like this without being able to see it. All in reverse. My wife's uh, grandmother wore a kimono on a regular basis. And my uh, wife uh, shared a room with her when she was growing up. And she describes watching her grandmother don her kimono, her homemade kimono. She made all of her kimonos herself. She describes her grandmother putting on her kimono at night or in the morning and watching her tie the obi by herself. A skill which uh, very few women have anymore in Japan. What a beautiful, beautiful art. What a lot of uh, different types of obi there are. What a rich and diverse culture. Thanks for dropping by to have a look.